Okay, Nas, um, here with another second of your essay. Because uh, the other days I've been a little bit busy. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's see what you have here. This is an essay of agree or disagree about the topic is uh, driverless cars or self-driving cars yeah um okay let me see this one here uh, be very careful yeah you need to uh make this small and then this should be like this i know you posted on facebook so it happened like that but in uh, computer based aisles if you take the computer based aisles you need to pay attention to things like that because it means that you add another paragraph if you have a space between your sentence so you don't want that okay so uh, basically you want to uh, have your uh, paragraph uh, as standing in a four paragraph instead of like here you have six paragraph if you make it like this but this will be considered f uh, five paragraph okay so uh, yeah basically it's okay to make uh, uh, five paragraphs but uh, instead of uh, writing a five paragraph essay why don't you try to write a four paragraph essay okay uh, especially if this is about the agree and disagree what i'm trying to say is if you have a written four paragraph essay if you only have four paragraph you will have more sentence in your body paragraph so your body paragraph the the distribution of your introduction introduction should be about where's this going introduction should be about 50 to 60 words about three sentences body paragraph one should be about uh, 85 to 110 words five to seven Oh my god, what's this? So annoying. Conclusion should be about So this, uh, if you write a uh, four paragraph, you will have more words here. You will have more words here, 85 to about 110, and you will have more sentences, okay? Five to seven sentences. Now, um, why is this? Uh, kind of important because here when you write about like this this is uh, five paragraph right 
you only have 59 words 59 words here and you only have one two three four you use four sentences in here let's check you use 60 60 words here and you have one two three sentences okay okay and then here 59 again 59 words and you have one two three four four sentences okay and here you have 43 okay good enough Here, yeah. 62. This is nice. Okay, so you can see here that uh, your uh, introduction length is quite okay, and the length of your conclusion is good. Okay, uh, but I think. Uh, what is it your body paragraph is not fully developed okay because you have uh, your 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 idea is only supported uh, by two or three sentences and it's not a very well developed idea or a very well developed concept compared to if you write uh, about like like this, like uh, 110 words in, in seven sentences or in six sentences, for example. So that's one thing you want like to try. Yeah. Uh, okay. So basically the, the idea execution in, in, in fifth paragraph is quite thin. Yeah. Uh, and it's uh, very simplistic. So that's one thing you need to consider. Okay, uh, another thing is, I think you write this essay in a hurry. Yeah. Uh, or uh, maybe you write this, uh, I think, under, under 20 minutes or so, something like that. Because uh, there are many slight mistakes here and there, okay? In recent times, employing an autonomous vehicle, why is it a singular? This is uh, one example. Why is it singular? Why is it just a vehicle? A vehicle. Employing an autonomous vehicle. A means one. Why is it only one? Okay. Uh, that's that's the question. Why does it... Uh, I think one is not enough for all the human being in the in the in the world yeah why why you say it's one okay there are so many people in the world so why you want to uh, build or to employ only one vehicle okay that's it so uh it's a topic of debate it's a topic of debate it, it is not very clear who is debating this Okay, what kind of people debating this? So, you want to consider that. <clears throat> While some propose that using a driverless vehicles, a, you cannot combine a, mean one, with s, means plural. Okay, <clears throat> so that's the little mistake. That's why I say that you are in a hurry while writing this. I strongly believe that ownership of these vehicles may bring several problems. Okay, be careful there. The vehicles and the ownership of the vehicles is two different things. Okay. 
So the fact that um, people have gun or like in the United States, I mean, everyone there, if they are considered adults, if they, they can purchase a gun. They can have a gun. Okay. Owning a gun is not a problem. Using the gun is the problem. Okay. So, owning the vehicles and the vehicles, it's two different things. You don't want to mix this up. Okay. Because if you just own the vehicles and the vehicles just stay in your garage, it will not cause any problem. So, I don't think ownership is the problem, okay? The vehicle itself is the problem. Do not confuse between the two. <coughs> so, this is uh, rather questionable. Hmm. Increasing employment, increasing unemployment, okay? I see your point here. Expensive to maintain, maybe. Technical faults in car software may result. Is this okay to put the... What, what is this? I think this should be in here. Like that. Not in the S, but uh, after the cars, not before the software. Technical faults in car software may result in accidents. Okay, three points. You have three points you want. Uh, first, it makes uh, jobs are losing, and then it's expensive, and then uh, it's, uh, what is it, unreliable, totally unreliable, because it makes, sometimes it means accident. Okay, but, uh, this is what will happen in the global scheme of the world. And this is, uh, the nature of the technology when it's, uh, introduced at the first time, everything will be expensive. Uh, as time goes by, things will be much more cheaper, um, much cheaper than they when they first launch. And then technical faults is something that will be rarely happen. Uh, uh, it can happen, but uh, it is ra uh, it is rare. Okay. So what else? You want to develop these three points here. Having robotic cars on road can boost unemployment among individuals. Boost is a, is a positive word. Okay. Okay, so rather than boost, you can you can say cause or any uh, something else. But I don't think boost is yes, uh, uh, will will be a good pair of collocation with the word unemployment although the meaning is the same increasing by adopting these cars uh, this cars is not adapted okay when you say adapting it's it's the policy adapting a policy Cars, they are not adapted. Yeah. Uh, using using the word adapt with the with the cars, it might sound strange because you know adoption is a, is a like a baby, baby adoption. That's adoption. The word adopt mean it's not your real baby, but you think that it's your own son, your your own daughter, so. You raise him or her as if uh, she is your baby. Uh, so it's adoption. But by the word adopt, yeah, uh, you're not adopting this car. So uh, I don't think the word choice here is very suitable. 
but maybe by adopting the policy uh, by uh, by implementing uh, maybe try to choose another words than adopt because here it's repeating itself okay so I think the technology is is being adopted uh, more drivers will lose their jobs okay as the financial struggle to survive among car drivers get worse worse or worse they might be forced to to get engaged in menial job to make this this is wrong not not meet but make make and smith figures may only increase misery and hardships misery uh, yeah misery means uh, in a very difficult situation yeah hardships are so similar to misery white population is it white isn't it vast or broad okay another point to consider is that owning you shouldn't put comma here the comma sh should not be sh sh there shouldn't be a comma after that owning an autonomous cars brings the challenges of affordability and maintenance may not be repaired i think this should be in verb 3 repaired Specialized, use D as an adjective here, specialized. Cost in. Rather than this, why not make it like this? This increase. Okay. Okay, this should be a comma if you put the which in here. So, this vehicle has yeah this is a parallel structure but uh, it's not very parallel because you put the verb here and then this is uh, just the adjective and then this is a gerund try to think of a way so that these three uh, sentences uh, are similarly in the in the same uh, parts of speech something like that because this is uh, parallel structures I, I believe okay so uh, I have already pointed out uh, the problem here and there with this yeah, with this uh, essay so I think <coughs> uh, 
two things we can understand from this writing. First, you uh, write <coughs> in a very short time, uh, and it makes all the uh, small errors or small mistakes uh, in your writing. Second of all, think of uh, how to develop your idea so it can be more fully developed rather than just a, a short announcement of this will be this, this will be this. But try to think of it uh, from a better angle and better a few points so that you have uh, strong arguments to support the idea. And then uh, another thing that I want to uh, remind you here is that uh, you only write about all the bad things, okay? You only write all about the bad things as if there is nothing positive about the self-driving cars. In IELTS, although you have uh, uh, your opinion that I think it's like this. But you should always attempt to write a balanced essay. You should admit that there is a positive. Yeah, there is something positive in this implementation. Although even though it's not your, uh, it's not the point that you support, but you need to mention it at the very least okay so in that way your essay will be recognized as more balanced writing yeah instead of uh, just writing it from one side like this only stating the negatives okay yeah so that's all i can say about your uh, writing i think uh Technical, uh, I'm sorry, task achievement. Task achievement, I think this is a six. Grammar is a five. Uh, coherence, cohesion, six. Mexico resource. Hmm, good. I think seven. So seven, six, five, six. Yeah, I think uh, this essay six point or in some cases, I don't know. Uh, Okay, but I think uh, uh, I think this is more of a six rather than six point five. <laughs> okay, I think that's all uh, for today. Hopefully, this can be useful for you. Thank you. See you.